So as you guys know, uh, Elon Musk has taken over Twitter. A bunch of people have left. Elon Musk has immediately started complaining about his bad purchase that he was forced to make. Of course, Elon Musk has no filter and surrounds himself with yes men. So um, anytime he has a thought, he just tweets it as opposed to what like an actual leader might do, which is sort of moderate their statements or think for a little bit. But thankfully, he's not very bright. So we just get everything straight, uh, straight from the dome. Twitter has had a massive drop in revenue due to activist groups pressuring advertisers, even though nothing has changed with content moderation. We did everything we could to appease the activists. Extremely messed up. They're trying to destroy free speech in America. So what Elon, so first of all, he's crying, so for some reason, he's publicly broadcasting the lowered worth of his company for reasons. Secondly, he's saying that it is a violation of free speech for advertisers to freely decide to no longer associate with his site. Third, he's lying. The activist groups, to whatever extent they were influenced, the advertisers have pulled out because Elon Musk has been screaming about how he's going to fire everyone at Twitter and have no moderation. So, cool. I hope this drains his assets. It won't. Oh yeah, he's also being sued? He, he did a mass firing at Twitter. Okay, so the way that the firing worked was because Elon Musk hates his workers. He despises them. So what he did was literally like, Hey, we're going to fire a bunch of people, but no warning, basically. So you're just going to, like, wake up tomorrow. And if, you're, if your email login still works, then you're still in the company. And if it doesn't, then you're out. And a bunch of Twitter employees, I mean, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of people, woke up, tried, like, signing in to their, like, email account, like, their business account. It didn't log in. And it was like, oh, well, guess I'm fired. And this actually violates California law, I believe, or federal law. I saw a big Twitter post about how this violates California labor law, but I guess federal as well. Not given enough notice under U.S. federal law, they'd lost their jobs. In a company-wide memo, staff were informed on Thursday they would receive an email to their personal email accounts if they were fired as part of the mass sackings of the platform, which half the company could go. Before those emails had arrived, dozens of staff began posting on Twitter they'd been fired after discovering they were no longer able to access their work email accounts or log into their work laptops. Musk's plans to cut up to 4,000 or so. Staff may hit a roadblock, however, after a lawsuit was filed in U.S. federal court in San Francisco seeking orders for Twitter to comply with the Federal Worker Adjustment and Restraining Retraining Notification Act, which requires 60 days notice for mass sackings at large employers. The lawsuit brought on behalf of five Twitter employees so far says one was fired on the 1st of November, while three were not informed at the time of filing, but have been locked out of their email accounts. So on and so forth, blah de blah. Apparently mass sackings, like mass firings of a company, ha they require more of like a lead up. Like you can't just fire a huge group of people at once. New York is suing Elon too, yeah. Also apparently he tried to uh, cheat the former like CEO and other higher executives of Twitter, the ones he fired, out of their um, their cutoff, their golden parachute. Like he, try he tried to fire them like a couple days before a cutoff point during which they would have received like a bunch of millions or something. So I think he's, he's, he's going to be like deluged in lawsuits <laughs> over all of this, which is spectacular. He's so stupid, dude. He's so stupid. He, he literally didn't have to do any of this. This is just because he's an idiot who doesn't care about any of the laws he has to follow and nobody tells him to stop. Or if they do tell him to stop, he just fires them. Yeah, he's like the Putin of business. That's why he likes Putin. Because he has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. If you're a Twitter employee subject to mass layoffs, New York has a warns law too. New York warns requires a 90-day notice for mass layoffs. Damn, for large employers. Dope. He literally got fact-checked on, on that Cope tweet. Yeah, I saw that. Ah! Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter, got a here's some additional context notification on Twitter, I assume he fired immediately whoever did this. I don't know how, because there's no way a megalomaniac like Elon Musk would allow this. So I, I, I assume that whoever did this did so anonymously or they're going to be fired or something. But yeah, added context that people might want to know. Reporting shows advertisers suspending or canceling ad buys over concerns with Twitter platform direction, especially as related to content moderation. And that, that was only up for a while, too. They got rid of that, right? Because, I mean, again, Elon Musk single-handedly controls Twitter now, so he can just get, he can remove that if, if he wants. But that was quite funny. Those, wait, those are written by Twitter users, not employees? Wait, really? 
Wait, can anyone do that? It's Birdwatch. Wait, what is that? I don't know this program. What is that? I thought employees were doing that. You have to be invited to the program? Oh, is it like um is it like Wikipedia moderation where where you you're not an employee of Wikipedia but you're like a trusted editor? Community-based fact check program. I'm in it. Huh. I didn't know that. That's still very funny. Okay, not fired then. Uh still got removed. Oh yeah, context is written by people who use Twitter and appears when rated helpful by others. That's cool. He still had them killed. Had them murdered. This is the second time that, El that I've seen Elon Musk responding to Ian Miles Chong. The first time was when Ian Miles Chong was like, if 50% of Twitter is bots, then you should have to only pay 50% of it. And that didn't fucking work because Elon Musk still paid the full $44 billion, even after the company had been evaluated far less than that. And now we have... It's time to stop appeasing the activists because they will stop at nothing to hurt Twitter regardless of what you do. You're right. I know this may seem threatening, but you have to understand that Elon Musk already wasn't doing anything to appease the activists. Like, he said right here, we did everything we could to appease the activists. I have no idea what he's referring to here. I don't, I don't know what he thinks he's done. He hasn't done anything. Like most narcissists, he feels per like permanently, constantly aggrieved by everyone else, always the victim of others. Yeah, the, sh the, the like baby with a phone profile pic is so fitting here for like Elon Musk's vibe as he tries to wrangle Twitter, you know? Elon's been blocking people and having a meltdown. Hey Elon, great chat yesterday. As you heard overwhelmingly from senior advertising on the call, the issue concerning us all is content moderation and its impact on brand safety suitability. You said you're committed to moderation, but you just laid off 75% of the moderation team and Elon blocked them? Dude, are you kidding? He's such a man child. Oh my God. Brand marketer in a performance advertising world. This guy was apparently on call with Elon Musk. That's how this guy conducts his business. It, it, uh, he'll have a meeting with some guys. Then later the guy will be like, uh, hey, this is why we're upset. We told you about this. And then you did the thing that would make us upset. And Elon blocks them. That's incredible. You tweeted a conspiracy theory from the website that was successful in the National Court like four days ago. And therefore Twitter should die? What? This is peak comedy? Yeah, maybe, you know, social media might end up ending the world, but I do appreciate the fact that we finally have unfalsifiable, or sorry, not unfal, like uh, proven, undeniable evidence that being wealthy doesn't mean you're not retired. That I I would I would go so far as to say that I think Elon Musk actually has like legitimately below average intelligence because this guy is put in a position where he should be like a god emperor. He's had access to the highest echelons of social and educational opportunities for his entire life, and yet he acts like this. You know, in a, in a lot of ways, I feel like we've actually regressed past the feudal model because there was an expectation of the nobility that kings would be well-educated. The nobility and aristocracy didn't want to be led by, like, a total dipshit, so they would have, you know, the stupider royal candidates offed, or at least disfavored sometimes. But now it seems like the being a, a f actually is, like, a favored characteristic for being ultra-wealthy, because it means that you're so, like, flagrantly unconcerned with the consequences of your behavior that you end up tripping over into enormous wealth and power, which is really incredible stuff, you know? It's the, it's the Trump effect, I guess. Yeah, water off a duck's back, you know? A smart person might have, like, not gone through with this, you know? But Elon Musk, an idiot, will simply charge forward. Uh, and fortune favors the bold, does it not? <laughs> oh, man. I think he may have been smarter 10 years ago, sleeping three hours a night and taking drugs that uh, he requires that will likely give him brain damage. I just think it's yes, men. I just think it's yes, men. I really think it's just that. I don't even, I don't really think it's like a biological brain chemistry thing. I just think it's yes, men. I just think that if you're surrounded by yes, men, you will eventually become more reliably than anything else. It will just make you, it will, it will drain you of your neurons. Your IQ will drop your synapses will misfire, and it's just, it, it, you, you should not, yeah. So authoritarian structures? Yes. Well, that, they tend to correlate, yeah. Yeah, he's an egotistical lunatic. He can't handle criticism, so he surrounds himself with yes-men. Yeah, this is, this is why I live stream, okay? Because being surrounded nonstop by you gibbering idiots telling me that I'm wrong when I say stuff that's objectively, provably correct actually keeps me sane and healthy.
You're actually, you're keeping me young, you know? I'm really, I'm really glad that I can be in a community where I can say stuff like the sky is blue and immediately get into a fight because you are keeping my neurons alive, you know? I'm out here, I'm out here battling for every bit of life, you know? The, live streaming with you guys is like being, I don't know, f gone when he was thrown on the island during his training arc by his father or whatever. It's, uh, it's just, oh yeah, you want to survive? Catch your own fish, f you. It's Black Fosh, it's night here, yeah. Uh, Neuron, you say? Man, did, this is, like, do people not realize that this is just the same shit that something Smith, the boy, he's not a boy anymore, he's a man now, but he was a boy. The son. Jaden Smith. This is just Jaden Smith tweeting. That's what it is. Does nobody recognize that? It's Jaden Smith. How can he eyebrow, how can he forehead wrinkle? Most trees are blue type shit. Yeah, how, realize, realize, realize. What Jaden Smith would do would capitalize every word in this tweet. Yes, we've come a long way in the past eight years, since 2014, or whenever that was, okay? 2011, I think? I don't know. Uh, we no longer capitalize every word. We now only capitalize the word that should be capitalized. I think Elon literally thinks he's going to be emperor of what's left of humanity on Mars. Yeah, he's 100% a megalomaniac. I don't think narcissist is the right word. I think I think it's like megalomania. I think his brain is just going do 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 all the time, and he's just yeah, he thinks he's like the savior of humanity, like a Christ complex or whatever. What was that chest tweet? I almost peed myself when I saw this. I felt I felt like a pregnant incontinent woman. Where where is that tweet? I need to find that tweet. The chest tweet. You know what I'm talking about, right? What do I what do I do? Do I just Google? You found it? How'd you find that so quickly? Here. It was a bad tweet. It was an amazing tweet. No, not this one. No, the newer one. Elon Musk, chess, simple grid. Will that do it? Yes, incredible stuff. Some, we're talking about Ukraine, phones. Do you still play chess, Elon Musk? I did as a child, but I found it to be too simple to be useful in real life. A mere eight by eight grid. No fog of war, no technology tree, no random map or spawn position, only two players, both sides, exact same pieces, etc. Polytopia addresses these limitations. I need you guys to understand, this is the most bullyable tweet in the history of Twitter. This is up there with that guy who, the, like, uh, what a crump nugget gobbled crust day because of my ex-wife the tenant from hell and bernie or whatever it's it's swirly tear yeah elon musk should be put in a toilet and be given a swirly until his stupid fake the hair replacement shit gets ripped from his scalp for this tweet this is unbelievable the lack of okay like really though the lack of self-awareness that you need to have to tweet something like this unironically is insane vosh this is obviously self-aware come on no it's not it's not self-aware. It's absolutely not. No, it's not. It's not self-aware at all. No, it's not. He's just stupid. It is incredible that he could tweet that with no self-awareness, but that is what happened. Uh, I promise you. Do you think he's actually a gamer or is this pandering? Well, judging from the screenshots he posted of his playthrough on Elden Ring, where he was like heavy overburdened with three different shields to rotate between or some shit, I'm going to guess that he's probably not spectacular at playing games. Now, he certainly has enough free time to play them, considering the fact that being a CEO isn't a real job. Yeah, the Elon build. He used his older brother's save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't be self-aware. Megalomaniacs can't be self-aware because they think that everything they're saying sounds like Christ after descending from the hill, or like Julius Caesar addressing the, um, the, uh, Senate, you know? Like, the, the, it's a type of person, they can't, they can't, re like, recognize... They don't understand that they're being embarrassing because they think they're the main character of the universe. Where was that... Elon Musk, Elden Ring build. I wonder if one day I can challenge Elon Musk to like a Civ game or like StarCraft or something and win and like make him give up. Oh, is this it? Yeah, here we go. This was his Elden Ring build. My man with three different ashes over here. The elixir, but I don't see flasks. These, two swords and a staff and two shields. I think this is cropped from the... Yeah, here we go. This has to be a joke. I assure you, he's in heavy load! Ah! He's carrying two shields and he's on heavy load! He's nearly at overloaded! Is it 67.2 over 68.8?
No, he's fat rolling. 68 intelligence. Does he know? That's a great build. 25 dex, 16 strength, 23 endurance. He hates mind. Do you do you think that he put all these points into mind and intelligence and had like none in faith or arcane? Because he's like, oh, I'm the smart guy. I swear to God, he is so self-absorbed that I legitimately feel like he would be like, oh, well, of course, the mind is the most powerful weapon. Um, a sword? Is there a pen nearby? The pen is the most powerful weapon. Real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. And then he, like, falls off a cliff or something? I don't know. The reason we're talking about this, the reason any of this came up, th we're just bullying Elon Musk now, was because of this tweet. Can we just... Just so we're clear, Musk is firing half of Twitter staff, including a huge swath of their content moderation capability, four days before opening up identity confirmation-free verification to the whole website, which will happen the day before a national election. Yes. Personally, I think this is some kind of broader political scheme that is being orchestrated by people smarter than Musk, and Musk is just willing to go along with it. Moder like, Twitter is about to have the moderation capabilities of 4chan. They're going to get rid of, like, the verification system literally the day before the election. So that's cool. For those of you who don't know, and I don't know why you wouldn't know, because, like, everyone knows, but Elon Musk is changing the blue check mark system so that now it costs eight dollars a month and if and the only reason it doesn't cost 20 is because stephen king chewed him out for it and elon musk posted a bunch of soy jack images in which he the wealthiest human on earth said that other people were soy for not wanting to pay eight dollars a month for a previously free service that was used to verify official accounts Remember, the check mark has been used primarily by politicians, journalists, celebrities, and the like. So there's no confusion about who is the like actual them. You know, pretty much every social media website has a version of this. Uh, YouTube has a verification check mark. Uh, Instagram, excuse me, Instagram has the check mark. Facebook, you can verify your stuff. Now, Twitter will be unique in that it does not have any way of identifying a verified account. This will just be something that you can pay for in order to get half the ads. It's half the ads. It's, it doesn't remove all the ads. It removes half the ads, and it prioritizes you in search results, conversations, and so on. So literally, like, pay for more speech. Nope, not even all, just half the ads. Yep, and Elon said they have to uh, pay the bills somehow. Oh yeah, people, of course, people have been, like, mocking him for this, but the, just, I said this, and I stand by it, but, like, the wealthiest man on earth using Soyjack memes to convince you to pay a subscription fee for something that was previously free is like the pinnacle of cyberpunk modernity. Like, th this is tr well and truly the future. It is over. It's over, guys. I hope you enjoyed life. It's over. You can't get more late-stage capitalism than that. I'm sorry, you can't. You really can't. You cannot. How can you? I'm asking. It's over. Anyway, uh, Twitter's going to become 4chan too, so have fun with that, I guess.